Welcome to Moo Moo Math and Science. In this video, let's take a look at speed time graphs. Okay, let's see what it's telling us. Let's first figure out from 0 to A. That would be titled constant acceleration because it started at 0 and it ends at A at 2 meters per second. In order to calculate the rate, you would find the gradient or the acceleration, and you would use change in speed over change in time. So it went from 0 to 2, so that would be 2 meters per second, and then it traveled 2 seconds. When you divide those, you have 1 meter per second squared. Acceleration is in meters per second squared. Now from A to B, notice that you do not have any acceleration. It is just constant speed. So in order to find the speed, you just look at the y-axis, and that would be 2 meters per second. It's not accelerating. Now from B to C, you have constant deceleration. Again, we can calculate the rate. It went from 2 to 0, so it went negative 2 meters per second, and it did this in 1 second. When you divide those, you have a negative 2 meter per second squared. You can also calculate the distance by finding the area. So what's the distance it traveled from uh, 0 to 2 seconds? Well, we can create a triangle. The area of a triangle is 1 half base times height. So it would be 1 half times the base of 2, the height of 2. That would be 4 times 1 half, which is equal to 2 meters. How about from A to B? Remember, we don't have acceleration, so we can use the same thing. We're going to find the area, but it's the area of a rectangle, and it's going to be uh, the base times the height. The base is uh, 5. The height is 2, so it would travel 10 meters. I hope that was helpful. Thanks for watching, and remember, kindness multiplies kindness. Be kind to someone today.